Beals out here thinning the sunchokes because we don't want to take over these little garden beds. And the horses are out here after they ate this morning and they'll get a nice treat. See? There's Annie. That way we can stay in control of these sunchokes. If I had more space, I just would grow them like crazy, but don't. This is probably enough for them for one day. Yeah, wheelbarrow load. Yeah. So, that's what I like about the food forest. We can feed them all through the summer on sunchokes and cane. <clears throat> they just got through eating hay for the morning. The morning feeding. They've got a full stomach. So, uh, it's less likely, I know it will hurt them because we've been doing this a long time for years, but it's less likely that it will interfere with or bother them. Uh, if they're not used to this, is something that they haven't been eating yet this year. You get them on a full stomach and it helps dissipate the, any, any side effects that they might have from just getting on something new and green. Oh boy, the donkeys can't wait. They love sun chokes. What? Any? It's, it's mostly the donkeys that go after it, really. Horses will eat it a little bit, but the donkeys, uh, we've had them out on trails packing, and they just pick at everything. They, they, uh, we've turned them loose, even with their packs on, and let them follow us when we're away from anybody and anything. No cows out there. Uh, they'll just browse along the trail and pick a, pick different things out of the trail. Uh, I don't think they'll eat loco weed. We've never had any trouble with that. But, uh, they like it, and it's it's got a lot of nutrition. There's several things out here that look like weeds. Uh, that uh, it's got a lot of protein to it, actually. Uh, it's just experience. Oh, and and he says, hurry up. Okay, I'm going to come. Now that she wants some sun chokes. Oh, they're hungry jacks this morning. I better go help you.